Hey, hello, how are you? Today we're going to be doing a bit of graphic design. I majored in graphic design in middle school, so I am obviously the... I'm in the right place here. I know what I'm doing. I have years of experience, um, as you can see from my channel banner. I make everything myself. With that said, let's get into it. Today we're going to be making a background for my friend's Twitch channel. Um, I'm not really sure what he wants it for or what he wants um, to do with it, but regardless, it will be a thing. So he says he color, um, his colors are blue and black. So we're gonna be doing a light blue uh, right about here, probably will work, and a black right about here. That's gray, but it doesn't matter. So uh, yeah, so I do have a abstract way of thinking. So, uh, we're just gonna, just gonna start drawing. Let me, yeah, we'll, we'll figure that out later. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna do some art, drag the mouse around the canvas a little bit. This is a 1920 by 1080 canvas. And, um, we'll do stuff and get, um, hopefully something that looks somewhat decent. So yeah, there's a, there's a strategy to do stuff. There's a strategy to make art look good. I'm not sure what that is. Um, kind of cheese my way through uh, any sort of art class I've ever taken. But yeah, I, I watch I watch a lot of uh, art classes, or not art classes, but like Photoshop tutorials. So I kind of know what I'm doing in in a, in, a, in terms of uh, in terms of looking good. I will uh, try my best here. But here's where we are right now. It looks very chaotic, as you can see. Uh, we turn the background uh, into the color uh, color overlay. We'll turn that into a not horrendous looking. Uh, good. Right, right about there. It looks good. It looks good. Okay, so we're like we're pretty much halfway there in terms of a uh, the finished product. Um, now we just messed around with the settings. Um, now that looks awful. Turn that back to normal. Go over to effects or filters. Flat layer. Let me turn that into a rasterized layer. Go to filters. I'm gonna liquefy that. Uh, turn that down. And then just just do some uh, some moving around. Good old good old moving around. Uh, let's see how that looks. All right, all right. Not too good. We'll try that one again. Uh, try to make it look a little more not as distorted. There we go. That should be good. Perfect. It looks no different. That's all we. That's all we really wanted to achieve there. Uh, so this is a uh, PNG, right? Yeah. Okay. Transparent layer. Control J, Control J, and multiply that multiple times. Go to here. Uh, yeah. Go to here. Turn off the red layer. Should be able to do that. There we go. Let me actually just modify that slightly more. Perfect. So now we have uh, this cool 3D looking effect. Not all too uh, practical. Um, we're gonna turn this one on. Go to the left a little bit. Uh, do the same thing, but with the other ones. Mm, no. Uh, Photoshop, or I mean any sort of graphic design, is actually uh, quite an art. It does take a bit of practice to. Uh, to uh, finesse your way through a good design. Um, texture, no, 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 we don't need texture. Maybe we do like a little bit of a... Ooh, ooh look at all these fancy things we have to work with. Mm, no, this one kind of looks cool. Might have to stick with that one. So we have all those, so we have our three layers. Um, as it looks like it looks like it goes into a green. It's very pixelated, so we'll have to deal with that. Uh, now we have to go to filters, uh, distort or blur, do radio blur, and a zoom about 22, best quality. Take a little bit of load. There we go. Oh, you can see that's perfect. So we go to liquify a little more. Do a little bit more magic right there. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. that look, that, that's looking good. Distort, do a bit of distortion. Uh, actually, no, do a blur, Gaussian blur. 
just like that. And then we're going to add some shapes. So grab some shapes here. Um, what shape do we want? We'll do a polygon. Those look nice. Put that in the corner. Just for some uh, diversity in the overall uh, thing. And then we can do that. Combine those three layers. Go there, drop shadow. Move the drop shadow a little bit. There we go, select it. Just add a bit of depth to our shapes. Um, not too much, but we also want to make sure that they're noticeable. Yeah, that looks good. That's a little too much transparent. There we go. So, um, yeah, we're almost done. So we, we have our, our contrast there, his background. And then next, uh, we can add a bit of a... Um, I don't know what I'm doing with that. With that. Actually, I think we're, we're pretty much done. So all I have to do now is add the watermark, as any good graphic designer will know, so people don't steal your content. Put that right there, in the very bottom corner. Yeah. The font doesn't matter, as long as it's there. So now people can't steal your content. Uh, so yeah, that's that's pretty much um, my thought process on graphic design for it. I guess background uh, images in overall in general. So if you enjoyed it, uh, make sure to like the video, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Goodbye. Have a nice day.